Okay, we are going to learn how to measure urine output for state competency. This is one of the nicest, easiest skills to get for state competency in my opinion. You'll get one measurement skill and it might be blood pressure, pulse, respirations, measure urine output or weight. So if we get measures urine output, what they will have is over by the sink somewhere or offset to the side, they're gonna have a bedpan that already has urine in it. It's just it's just gonna be water, but they'll have some yellow food coloring in it for you. They'll have a graduated cylinder, and it's already gonna be on a waterproof pad. All you're going to need to get for this skill is your gloves. So you're gonna get a pair of gloves, which you will put on. Now they already know how much urine is in this bedpan, so you do wanna be careful when you're um, getting ready to pour it, to measure it, because if I splash it all over the place, it's gonna impact my reading. So I'm gonna pour it carefully into my graduated cylinder, and I can set that down. Now you need to measure this at eye level. So you're gonna to need to come down to eye level, and you always measure it on the, out, on the cc or milliliter side, not on the ounces side. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna measure at eye level. So you wanna, you wanna read it at the bottom of the meniscus. Each one of these lines over here on the milliliter side, if you can see this, is worth 25 cc's. These are 25 cc increment lines. So it looks here to me that I'm just below the 450 milliliter sign. So what they want you to do for state competency is you just round up. You round up to the nearest 25 cc line. So since this is just below the 450, um, I'm gonna say that this is 450 milliliters of urine. Now they're going to ask you what you're going to do with this. So now I'm going to take my urine and I can actually take my bedpan at the same time and I'm gonna take this into the bathroom and I'm gonna dump it in the toilet. I'm going to rinse it, dump it in the toilet, make sure this is rinsed out and dumped in the toilet. And then they will have an area where it literally will have a sign that just says designated dirty area. So I will put this in my designated dirty area after I've washed and rinsed it out. Because this is a gloving skill, anytime you are gloving, you want to make sure that your evaluator sees you take off your gloves. If I take off my gloves over here where they can't see them, they will not give me credit for taking them off correctly. So anytime you have gloves on, you turn to your evaluator and you're gonna start with the one, we're gonna pinch here and I'm gonna come off slowly and I'm gonna come all the way into my hand. And now I'm gonna come underneath. This can go right into the garbage can so there'll usually be a garbage can right near the station where you're working, and then you would tell your evaluator you would wash your hands. Now I'm going to record my skill. Now when, you record, or so when I record it, I had 450 milliliters. You want to make sure that on the candidate result box, so you have that paper that they're going to give you with your measurement skills, and it is going to, It'll already have your name on it. I'm gonna mark urine output, candidate results. I'm gonna put 450 milliliters. A milliliter and a cc are the same thing. So I can put 450 milliliters or 450 cc's. You cannot record in ounces. And then you're gonna hand it to your evaluator and your evaluator will put what they have. But the last step of this is the actual um, written part. There is not actually anything I'm doing with my resident or patient at this time.